Welcome to this tutorial on the Power Pack tools within Excite Pro. This collection of features aimed at the power user will help you get the most out of Excite Pro. In this tutorial, we're going to learn all about creating an XML sitemap to help submit your site to Google, using the Import Pages tool to incorporate pages into your sites that weren't created with Excite Pro, using tokens to automatically insert certain kinds of text into your pages, either during creation or upon publishing, and finally we'll explore the multi-page creation wizard. As with our last tutorials, we're going to start right here on the Other tab. Let's begin with the Google Sitemap tool. The Google Sitemap differs fundamentally from a traditional sitemap. The regular sitemap that's automatically created by Excite Pro is designed to help the user navigate your site. A Google Sitemap is different. The user won't see it. It's an XML document that will only be read by Google and is used to help your site's coverage in Google Search Index. Google uses this file as a roadmap to spidering your page. A spider, or bot, is a piece of code that checks your pages for new content and then lists them in the Google Index appropriately. Just think how difficult and time-consuming it would be to type all this by hand. Normally, creating a sitemap for Google requires a lot of time and a good grasp of XML. But Excite Pro helps get you up and running with Google Sitemap in six easy steps. First, you can specify the file name of the XML file, but there's really no reason to change it. Second, we have the ability to set the priority of the pages on our site by clicking the Priority and Exclusions button. This is where you can stipulate your high priority pages, such as home and product pages, your medium priority, like article pages, and low priority, like your grouping pages. You can even choose to exclude certain pages. These priority settings will help determine the order in which Google will spider your pages. It plays no role in page rankings. The third step is called Update Frequency, where you'll tell Google how often you expect your individual pages to change. This too will have an effect on the spidering order. Just click the appropriate button to show how often your pages change. This can be done collectively to save you time, or you can drill down on individual pages that change more or less often. Do help Google properly prioritize their spidering by giving as honest an assessment as possible. Step 4 is pretty easy. Go ahead and publish your site if you haven't already. Now this should be obvious, but I'll state it for the record. The files actually have to be there in order to get spidered. Our next tutorial is all about publishing. Feel free to check it out if you get stuck. For the fifth step, click the Go to Google button to set up a Google account. Feel free to skip this step if you've already done so. The sixth and final step consists of alerting Google that you have a new sitemap file for them. Click the Go to Google button and then log on to your account. Now, go back to Excite Pro and check out the field under Part A. Provided you've been a good little sitemapper and published your site during Step 4, you'll see the link to your sitemap in the field. Copy it, and then return to your Google account. Click the Add Your First Sitemap button, and then just Paste, and Submit. Note that once you've added it, you won't have to do so again, and Excite Pro automatically updates your sitemap every time you add a new page. Now, let's move on to the Import Pages feature. This is an incredibly powerful feature available in no other program. You can import a gazillion HTML files, such as article pages, and they will appear right in the page layout template you've established for your site. It is not designed to import entire sites from another package, as it's impossible to determine how a site and its navigation have been constructed. For doing a general content dump, however, it is second to none. So, Let's open the floodgates and start bringing in pages. We're going to add a virtual plethora of article pages to Mike's mountain bikes. To get started, you first have to specify the directory where they're located, and as you can see, I've already done so. If you want the pages to appear as subpages of a particular page, in this case our article grouping page, then set it as the parent here. Next. Check where you'd like the pages to appear in your navigation, as well as whether you'd like them to fit into your standard page layout, and whether they're ready to publish. 
but this is only the first of several tabs on this screen. On the Keywords tab, you have several options for automating the assignment of keywords to these new pages, such as importing the original keywords from each page, adding new ones to the list, or replacing the originals entirely. We're simply going to use those keywords that are already part of each page. You can do the same with the description metadata. Also, if you have other elements you'd like to insert into each page, you can freely do so, with separate tabs for the top, middle, and bottom of your documents. Look how easy it is to insert a Google AdSense panel into the bottom of each page. Just choose the format. There. As another example, say we wanted a blurb at the top of each page that roughly describes its content. To do so, we can use a powerful feature of Excite Pro, namely tokens. Tokens are placeholders. They represent specific information. So, I'll insert my sentence fragment here, and then include tokens where my top three keywords will appear. Keyword 1. Keyword 2, and finally Keyword 3. Good. You have tokens available about the current page as well as its parent page, website, and even its project. You also have tokens to change the case, a date token to insert today's date, among others. After I import these pages, I can preview them. Wow, look at them all. So, 50 pages in all. Notice how they're all listed under the article's parent. We'll check out this article on Falling Correctly. Have a gander at the text blurb up at the top, and the AdSense ad at the bottom, all done automatically. And tokens aren't just for imported pages. They're also available with the multi-page creation wizard, where the import pages feature allows you to import a whole bunch of pre-existing pages at once, the multi-page creation wizard can create a whole bunch of new pages at once. For example, say I have a lot of product pages I want to create at one time using a particular template. I just right-click on my general products page, choose multi-page creation wizard, and now I can create as many pages as I want that follow any template of my choosing. Here we can set a main keyword, such as a product name, and secondary keywords for each page, and pick where the pages will show up. If you already have this information in a CSV file, you can import it quite easily. Then add keywords that will be applied to all your pages, and a basic cookie cutter description if desired. Lastly, we can add design elements that you'll want to see on each page. We can type the text we want to reuse here, and then spin it off dozens or hundreds of times. Also, let's use tokens to automatically add a title. Just make it a heading. Insert the first keyword as a name. They're actually both the same in this case. And a random image depicting a general biking scene. We'll leave the actual product shots for later. So, now we simply choose the folder with the images we want to use. I've prepared one here for just such an occasion. Or leave it blank if you want to choose the folder at the time of creation. We can pick one of the keywords to serve as the image's alt text, add a border, even going so far as to specify its color, and finally, pick an alignment and a margin for the image. Click Create, and your new pages will be created and ready for customization. Look, see how the pages are different based on the tokens? To recap, we covered the Power Pack features of Excite Pro, including using the Google Sitemap, importing pages, inserting tokens, and using the multi-page creation wizard. If you haven't already, please check out our next tutorial on publishing your work to a web server.